we swala so, swala so, kupigia bwana ah hata nishike ni aje mambo poa okay so ana come just 2 minutes ana anakuja 2 minutes ameshikama hadi you get ina break your eyes kabisa kabisa mpaka even if somebody else from the outside comes why are you comfortable with your wife having a male friend nani yule <laughs> And me one thing I always believe it's always about self confidence. Mm-hmm. Self confidence. Believing yourself. Mimi I would not have a problem with my man hanging out with his with, exactly. with mm-hmm. So long as he has made it clear to everyone that I am his woman. He has made it clear that Mimi I have a different spot than the rest. And he has not chosen them over, over me. you. Mm-hmm. So I am comfortable. But what makes them uncomfortable is, babe, can we go out? No, I was hanging out with... So and so. Babe, what are you going out now? Best time. Babe, can you come out? No, I'm going to go out. So and so, I'm going to go out. 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 Because you're hanging with so and so more than you're yeah, hanging out with your guy. Everything, and then conversation sphere. You need to understand that this is your woman, this is your man. See if you tell me that you're going to be so and so. Exactly. Oh, now when the whole, any, every time you guys are together, the story is about so and so. So My yeah, best friend. Yeah, that's the story. My best friend. So and so, so and so, so and so. So this is where we go now. So I'm going to be like, ah, see when you do basu kena so and so. Oh God. I'm going to say, you're like, so and so would not do that. Angeli ngojea, hange ni yacha. So and so would come and pick me up. Hange ni tumia uba. Si wendi basi uka date so and so. That's supposed to be your friend. Eh? Si wendi basi uka date so and so. Unajua wewe yu innocent is saying. So you've gotten too much into this friend to an extent you don't realize that you're ruining your own relationship. Because you are the one building that jealousy. It's like you're creating an atomic bomb. Pole pole, unatengeneza. Because you are a take note. So and so, uh, Sometimes you're uh, doing that so that maybe you teach home. him how to treat you. You cannot treat you cannot teach your man to treat you with another man treating you. <laughs> it has never worked. It has never happened. Oh. Where has it ever happened? Maybe he's not nice to you, he's not buying you ice cream, he's not doing you know, Talk to things. him as you. And you don't tell him Babe, I like ice cream. Buy me ice cream. Hmm. Buy me food. I like food. My friend does this for me. Bring me like you know like request for me an uber no don't request me an uber come pick me up mm. tell him don't say my friend buys me pizza my friend picks me up mm. you're making things worse it's like when you say so babe, it's like when you go and say babe we just kissed is that supposed to make him feel better like you didn't sleep with him just is that supposed to make him feel we better kissed is that supposed to, the question he'll ask is, is that supposed to make me feel better mm. that you only kissed him you did not touch him you kissed him it's supposed to make me feel better. It's more of you can never mm-hmm. it's the same as your children. You tell them when you come from school go change your uniform, have your like your snack, do your homework, you can have some little bit of TV time, then bed. Or when you come from school take a shower, change your uniform, snack, mm-hmm. homework, eat, bed. But you can't say, why can't you be like your brother? Who comes back from school? He'll be like, I am not him. So it's about comparison. It's not Do right. not compare him. Mm. No. Talk to him mm. as you. Tell him, Mimi, who are going to be the ice cream? Tafadali. Nini nuli ice cream? Would you advise ladies who keep talking about, I, I cannot have girlfriends. My circle doesn't have ladies. Totally. I only have friends who are male. There are things you cannot share with those male species. Mm. So in short, tuna jida ganya. Tuna jia mbega like. Eh, so now we're going to get in a group here. We're going to develop and discuss your menses. No, it's a question. Because your circle is made of men. So this thing is... So we're going to get in a group here. We're going to get in a discuss your menses. But you... We're going to get in a group here. And I started cramping on the area 19. But nothing came. So I'm like, hmm. It's okay, so I don't know what to do. Yeah, so they have no idea. They don't understand even what you're talking about. So when you to There has to be. Me, I always believe that your circle has to be balanced of balanced. both men and women. Exactly. So that if I have my own gali gali issues, I can talk to my girls. I'm like, you know what, this and this is happening. But if I'm having issues with my man, I have my also male friends that I'll be like, yo, 
my nigga is doing this and doing this like hapo nafanya haja nikamwambia as a man as a man as a man muite muambie this and this and this and this response yake atakwambia kama yuko ama alienda you see because they'll be able to share from that male perspective. Oh yes. When you're talking to your girls they'll be able to share from that female perspective that ah oh, pia mimi zangu there's a time they did zilikuwa hivyo mm-hmm. I went to the guy now or I did this or they fly even they couldn't wait and it's okay. Mm-hmm. But you can't say that my my circle is made yeah, of men. Yeah. Yeah. What are all these men doing in that? that? And I'm asking myself does it really work? Ah sawa. Watu wakujua shikile mauwa kwa harusi yako basi. Let them attend your bridal shower, you know. Yeah, take cute photos in you know in sleeping wear now for your wedding because you it smell. So at the end of the day you have to balance your friendship. Balance it's your not friendship. like you must have you only insist on having uh, girls disappointed me so now my friends can only be men. One thing I know about friendship it's, it's not this. possible. So when you come, first of all let me, let me talk to the viewers. I want you guys I want to get the views from men you know mm-hmm. i want i want i want to get the views from men like i, I need a man to, to come to this show and tell us what they think mm-hmm. about that topic of i don't have female friends my friends can only be men yeah i've never had men saying that my my, my circle is yeah. men say my circle has a lot of women but there are men also they are definitely the ladies but mm-hmm. men are still there but they are ladies now ladies you know to go my circle is meant of men and so mm-hmm. what it turns you into something that is not right unless you're planning to be a tomboy you know unless they're teaching you how to be a man because the only thing they can teach you is how to be a man anyway before we went up but one thing i want to say about friendship is this in as much as the, the gender part of friendship so you have like uh, male friends and female friends there is also the age the age of friendships i believe that it's supposed to be all mixed you can have people younger than you people your age and people older than you this way you are able to view life from three different perspectives okay. the younger me would have done this the now me would do this but the older me mm-hmm. would have done this because there's that msemo wa Kiswahili nasema kitu ambacho mzee anaona kiwa mikiti mtoto atakipanda the tallest tree always you on there are those friends who you need to advise you on some matters oh, yeah. for example if you are having marital issues you can't go to a friend you age. Both of you are in that situation. Both of you are new. Ni ni wote ndo mmefika. It's like we go to a party and then you ask me, "Did you like this song?" I know. Tumeingia na wewe. Tumeingia na wewe. Tumeingia na wewe. So if you get you're both struggling with something that yeah. you still don't know. But if you have an older friend, atakwambia, "In my 30 years of marriage, mm-hmm. this is what put like pushed me." This I have a friend actually. This reminds me. I have a friend. She's way older than and you know that woman loves me so much. Yeah. And do you know she keeps telling me my daughter she calls me daughter. Mm. She tells me my daughter I don't want to find you with friends of your age. You're sharing your marital issues with them. You're going to be in deep problems. Mm. She keeps telling me that and now you're saying it. Because pia hao ndo wamefika. Sisi wote ni wageni tumefika. You need somebody who has experience, who has been there, has mm-hmm. done that. Aka kwambia these are the mistakes I made. Oh, yeah. This is what Don't I did wrong. Them. Don't make the same same mistakes because due to these mistakes that I made, they led my marriage to turn on this oh, particular yeah. angle. And I it did. took me this to twist it back into this particular angle. So they will be able to advise you mm-hmm. in a way that you will be able to handle your things in a more mature way. Oh, yeah. Because if you go to a mature woman and say my husband is cheating on me, she'll tell you. Hold 26 on. years ago I remember my husband was going out with this Caucasian woman. <laughs> like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And how did you handle yes, it? Yes, and how did it go? And then others said, like, I did nothing. Like, I beat her up. <laughs> you know, there will be different views. Yeah. And they'll tell you, due to the fact that I beat her up, mm-hmm. it caused me more problems. I wish I never beat her oh, up. Yes. I wish I would have just talked to her. You see, they'll tell you, I wish I would have just talked to her or I would have talked to my man. Because there are battles you're gonna fight that are not even they are not even yours. There is nothing you can do. If you beat her up, you won't get a black one. Because you beat up the Caucasian <laughs> one, it's going to go and get a black one. Well, so in short, what you're saying is that we need to balance our friendship. We don't balance need to have it. people of your age only. When you have a friend that is younger <clears throat> than you, you mentor this friend. Oh yes, I get you. When you have a friend your age, mm-hmm. you help in show direction. When you have a friend that is older than you, they help you see what you cannot see at your age. Mm-hmm. 
they are focused, they are, they, are, they are sharpening your future. The ones older than you will sharpen your future. The ones your age will handle your present. The ones younger than you, mm -hmm. you are able to mentor, to mentor them. So, life is a ladder. So, wewe unainua, someone will be pulling, you as, be well. pulling you as well. So, that is how you are able to like, you know, uplift a generation. But sasa wewe, your friends are all your age. Your, yeah. Yeah. I remember there's one time you I was, advise each other on anything. There's one time I was having a problem hanging out with people my age. Even dating men my age, but yeah. they had problems. Those you 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 were there you are very focused. You're like, you know what? In five years' time this this is supposed to be there. How do I get it? Somebody's like, Yo See gonna point out the one that is this one. I am here planning for the future. I know what you're talking you about. Are planning to think. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. In most some of those people you're in your circle, your yeah. age. You even try to share your dreams with them and they'll be like, God, that's too huge. Yeah, is like, seriously, how do you even plan to achieve that? Mm -hmm. I've been there, actually. Exactly. So you need these people in your life. Because these are your critics. You need them there. You need these people who have no vision because they will motivate you not to be like them. Now let me ask you something, by the way. Right. We talked about, earlier when we were starting this show, we were talking about acquaintances and uh, friends. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of something. So when you want to start a business, for mm -hmm. example, you, I come and share with you, I tell you, you know what, I'm, I'm putting up a, a restaurant somewhere, or I want to bring things from wherever I want to sell. Who do you expect to promote you? Because, guys, I think, I think in this life we do, we are not sure who the, people the friends are. Or well, sometimes I feel like maybe we have not gotten those friends yet. Because trust me, you'll find that, you, first of all, when you're sharing the idea of, I want to do this, they look at you, Zileza, hey, that's too huge. That's so overambitious. Like, hey, how are you going to do that? You feel discouraged, but you push on. You tell them, now, they tell you, oh, we'll come and promote you, we'll help you, we'll help you with this. And then, when your business is up and running, you realize that none of your friends... Because uh, you it's because you're, you're, you're telling your dreams to the wrong friends. So that means then most of us have not gotten friends, right? No. It is just the wrong it is just the wrong topic for that particular <laughs> So you have a friend whom you can hang out with and do all crazy stuff. This is the wrong but topic. when it comes to developing yourselves, you, also you don't a, have a friend. Abo, abo, abo minus. You know, the, that's why I said you need to understand the people in your life. Kuna mtu unajua ikifika na story asherehe Call her. Who you share? You will party. Ata kupange kwa zee. Eh, mpaka zee. Ata kupange mpaka after party. Na kuna party. Ta. Eli yo ina party, but ana panga after party. Na yo party ya jayisha ili muko. Ya asha panga yigini. Yeah. They are those friends. And then they are those friends when you think about Beshara, you ring them up. Okay. And they tell you, ah, okay. Hmm, I have a few contacts. I have a few leads. Come, let's sit down. Let's discuss. We see Mali Tuneza Tukaanzia. I can point you on a particular direction because I've been there as well. Because you have a friend your jobless friend about a business. <laughs> he or she itself is jobless. Yeah, or maybe he's doing something that it? she's comfortable with. Yeah, I'm not going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. So in short, you're advising us to at least don't have one friend. Don't I'm advising have you to have a circle. A circle of friends. Mm -hmm. But you know, maintaining these people is not easy. Yeah, that is I've very easy. The problem that. is, you're too available. Dear mm -hmm. my friend, mm -hmm. we talked last week. We didn't talk the whole week. We talked yesterday. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean we're enemies. So a friend is someone you can talk to a month later yeah, and they'll be like, yo, umenipotelea kwa nini? Yeah, they'll be like, yo. And then you pick it from where you stopped. Yeah. Not someone when you will be like, ah, you see, now that is not friendship. I'm not your puppet. I have things to do. There is me. There is my family. There is my kids. There is my business. There is my education. There is a lot of things. Then you're my friend. When I get held uku, instead of you complaining, you're supposed to be like, yo, kazi takuwa, take a break. We are here waiting for you, you know, we miss you. Because I think at the end of the day, this is what eats so many friendships. I expect have. my friend to tell me, yo, we miss you. See, at the end of the one week, I have been busy. Exactly. That is what busy people do. 
they are busy minding their business. They can't talk. So at that point you realize this a is good not a friendship friend. is like we can take a break of one month. We are we are talking. I mean, you text your hi, go fit here, go pot. Now you learn to hurry. Like ah, the D is alive. She's well, my honey. But not intimate. One month later we meet up and I'm like yo. You know, let me give you a story. Mm. This, this has happened within this month. So that's oh, let's right. cheers to that. Let's celebrate that. Girls, girls, wherever you are, are you really getting this? Because I know people who complain. So much of you are you really getting this? Because I know people who complain. So much, so much. That we used to be so close, we used to do things together, we used to do what, what, and then now you've gotten yourself busy, you don't have my time. It is That's the reason why actually I was trying to tell you that it's not easy to have, you know, that No, it is friend. easy for us to do everything together if we're in the same line okay. of either business or we, we have the same goals. Oh, yeah, I get it. So, wherever you're busy in sports, me, me, I don't know, five to, nearly eight to five, go office, I'm two, because I'm going to go to the office, I'm going to go to the office, I'm going to we can't be there every time. So you, you get this sports. clearly. It doesn't mean that if I talk to you every day... That you're my friend. That you're my friend. If I'm checking on you every single two days, you know, you are my friend. I can stay three weeks without calling you, a month without calling you, but I have you in my heart, you know. No, so, neither, there's that karan on that path. Yeah, what's mm, that? Yeah. You know, I may see your status and reply. Can I tell you something? Actually, I have a friend who wants just ended our friendship because I was too busy to you know to have a lot of meetings with her and you know the way we were before I got myself into another contract that was a bit too heavy for me. It happens. Most of us experience it like the best of us experience that. There's the ones that are gonna they're gonna exit the friendship simply because they feel that you're not closer to them like you were before. There are others who are gonna end your friendship simply because they think you got a new friend. You know, like how you just yeah. meet someone in random place, you just take a photo. They're like, oh, so now you have new hey, friends. You replaced oh, me. So now I don't even matter to you. Like, yo, chill. Girls do that. Oh, you're like, yo, chill. I just met this one. Like, you look nice, I. And then when they meet together, they don't talk to each other. Yeah, then when they meet together, they become enemies. So you're like, okay, now how? And then they put you in the middle, expecting you to choose. Is it me that you have known for ten years? I'm a new woman. You look nice, I. Josie. Girls. Girls, you people, the reason why no, we start you, saying that you look at them and you know, Lisa, uh, how much are you paying me again? <laughs> yeah, mm. there are the reasons why you find ladies start saying that me, I'll have only male friends. That's why I said, if you want to have male friends, have as many as you can. <laughs> if you want to have uh, a mixed, like, you know, circle, go ahead. Me, one thing I always say in my life, I never burn bridges. You don't burn bridges. I don't burn bridges. Mm. If I quarrel with you to the extent that we're not going to talk to each other again, you cross the line. But if someone just shuts down on you and is no longer talking... It's okay. Yeah, I say hi to you. You say hi back well and good. You don't say hi back, I won't say hi again. Because yeah. I said hi and you ignored. So you see, I'm going to try and reach out to you to find out what the problem is. But when I reach out and you end up building even bigger walls than the ones that were there, I am going to take a step back. So is it true that some friends, they can only be close to you when you're still struggling? And there are when friends who love you. When you get an opening, like a small opening, you don't have to go back to them and be like, okay, imagine I don't have this, I don't have that. Friendship ends. What was that song she sang? Rafiki yangu, mpendwa, naja kwako. You see, this friend liked her. When she had nothing. When she had nothing. But the moment Alipata an opening in a like a breakthrough in her life, this friend was not happy. Because some people are with you because you're vulnerable. Oh yes, I get your vulnerability is what puts them close to you. Because the more you are vulnerable, the more they have power over you. I get you. Because if you don't have clothes where you're wearing mine, if I say we are going to Westlands right now, we are going to Westlands. But the moment you get a job, you say, we are going to work, and I say, no, I have to be at work in Tsiokimao. You see, that's why you guys are going to differ. So there are, there are others that are going to clap. They're going to always be there clapping. They're going to be always there supporting you. But there are some who want you to mm. always ask from always them. Always depend on them. Yes, they want, happens, they want to be mm. the ones who have the say. Exactly. They, want to be, they want to be the financially stable one, the emotionally stable one. They want to, they want to be bigger than you are. Now that friendship is like there's a, a dominant party and there is also a submissive party. <laughs>
So, Which is not right for friendship. Yeah, there are friends who want thing. to dominate over you. Yeah. There are friends who want to literally be there to empower you. There are people who want to work with you. To work with so, you. So, importantly, you need to look for friends who can walk the journey with you. So, guys, we are going to find out in our next topic. Who is a friend who wants to work with you? Who is a friend who wants to... Dominate just over dominate you. over you who is a friend who wants to just support you and lift you empower you. empower you and feel good that I did this for so and so know your friends you really need to know who am I dealing with because our friends are kutoka watu unapata mliko mna struggle together and then all of a sudden when you're trying to do well they just disappear from your life you don't know what happened it was a simple misunderstanding and now they are gone you try to make things work nothing is happening mm. so i want to get your views guys and uh, this topic will not end today because it's quite a bit uh, you know uh, right. wider so give us your views tell us what you want us to discuss about this friendship and uh, yeah, thank you. See you next time. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>